I want to find the possible range of values for the third side if I know these two are sides of the triangle. So what I'm going to do is use the triangle inequality that tells me if I sum any two sides it's going to be greater than the third side. So that means if I add 7 and 9 it has to be greater than the third side which I'm going to name x. Also if I take this side x and add it to either one of these sides, it must be greater than the other one. So 7 plus x must also be greater than 9, and 9 plus x must be greater than 7. Well, the nice thing about this one is since x needs to be a positive value because it is a length of a side, then this is always going to be true, so we don't need to use this one. Okay, so these are the only two we need to worry about. So if we add these two numbers, we get 16 is greater than x. And if we subtract 7 from both sides, we get x is greater than 9 minus 7, which is 2. Okay, so if I combine these two statements into one compound inequality, I have 2 is less than x, which is less than 16. So, the third side needs to be between 2 and 16. It can't equal 2 and it can't equal 16, but it does need to be between those two values.